another day, another adventure here in South Arizona at the Snowyder River. Let's go catch something random. This is so much greener than last time. Yeah, and I lied about waiting until we got to the river to turn it on. I know. Sue me. No, don't sue me. I'm broke. What's wrong with you people? Always being so greedy. Man, this place looks really cool. You guys see this? Does it look awesome? Am I circling too fast for you? <laughs> Come on, boys. I'm excited. I just can't hide it. River. Round and round we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. We stop at Derp. Okay, we stop at Derp, apparently. Cannonball! <laughs> God, this smells like Neo in here. Can I come in? You want to come in? Uh, is it warm? This is my river. You find your own river. No. You blend in with the environment with how green you are. You remember that game everybody used to play on the internet? Where's Weirdo? There is a tree frog in the tree, okay? It's actually a tree frog. There. Right there, see him? This guy's a tree frog, and we know for sure that he's a tree frog because he was in a tree, and only tree frogs go in trees, see? Who wants frog legs? <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, that's probably like five calories. Come on, fly like Superman, dun da da It's just like kind of, whoa. In your face, with a <laughs> frog. Wasn't sure if he was gonna go for my eyeballs. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's just gonna suction cup your eyeballs right out of your head. We got a tree frog in its native environment, the red hat. Let's roll. Well, I, what, what the hell am I touching? What grab it. it. What do you mean grab it? I am grabbing it. Grab it again. That felt like some furry bear junk or something. We got this lizard right here. It looks kind of like an ornate tree lizard. Neil walked past and he jumped and swam across the water. Let's see if we can get him to go back and do it again. <laughs> oh, <that's> so cute. <laughs> oh, okay, apparently he just prefers to crawl on you now. Yeah, he'd rather, I don't know, he'd rather crawl on me and go in the water, guys. We're, we're gonna do some no, he, he's like, yeah, that. <laughs> Neil, Neil, get him off me. Don't bite me. What do you mean don't bite you? That thing's the size of a termite. Okay, look at the underneath him. He's like all greedy. Wow. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful orange right there. It's Noah's Ark, guys. Yeah, all this the lizard, <laughs> this lizard's really smart. I swear to God, when we turned off the camera, he built his own raft. He crashed his raft. Move it. Reverse him. Oh, he's right backwards. <laughs> like a boss. Later, bro. He's drinking. He's drinking and driving. That's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in a river, it's really easy to drink and drive. So you just open your mouth one time, that's it, you're wasted. He yeah, he's totally riding it. He's totally riding it. Okay, I think he wants that now. Oh, oh, you got it. free. And that's where our meeting with that lizard ends. You guys have to admit, that was pretty sweet. I'm I'm totally impressed. Oh my god. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna burn my wiener. Ha. Bush hot dog right there. Mm. Mm. That tastes so trips when fire dies. Look, we got a really big rat dog. Oh. That is so good. I'm so hungry. Some big old huge animal just ran over here. We're gonna go see what it is. Oh man, I hate this already. I feel like it's an ambush. We didn't find the giant animal, but instead we found a giant bee nest, which I think killed the animal. <laughs> and dragged it into the nest and ate it and fed to the queen. Boys, that's just a totally crazy story. Nobody's going to believe that. We will go back and look for some more bees later. So you can consider the bees part of this story to be continued. Start and trying. just so you guys know, the queen of that bee nest is Justin Bieber. <laughs> We just found the smallest grasshopper in the whole universe. That's not even a third of the flower. See this right here? This is not a bee, it's a fly. Got a rip off, wannabe. You're never gonna be in Hollywood. Yeah, he's a wannabe. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's attacking your camera, he's angry. Sorry if you guys didn't get enough detail there to see if he was a bee or a fly. Rewind that and then look at his butt. No stinger, look at his head. He's got those big, huge, bulbous eyes and he isn't quite as fuzzy as a bee is. And what? speaking of bees, after making all those stupid bee jokes and the bee thing here, it must be a sign of something. I got stung by a pile of bees passing a nest I didn't know was there and ran like hell before it lit the kids up too. Man, those bees, they can be real bees. Uh, where'd the water go? I think it's over there where the bees are. 
If we get dead, I'm blaming you. I'm gonna step out of the river for a little bit. We're gonna do some off-stream herping. This is like a lone wood, three points in the Oh, we're re-entering slender woods again. I think it's a raven. Maybe that's a ninja. Right? All right, we're going up the tree. This is one of those sturdy trees. It's like a thousand years old. Solid as a rock. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think I can go up anymore on this thing. No, Neil, don't follow me. Oh, oh, sorry. All right, this tree has the capacity of only one idiot, okay? That's too many. You get out of here. Guys, I am coming back down this tree. I don't feel like dying on it. And with my luck, there'll be a bee nest in it on top of it. So I'll fall down. I'll break my neck. I won't be able to run away in the bees. I'll be like <laughs> over and over again. And then I'm going to live through that. I'm going to go home and get food poisoning from something I got at Jack in the Box and it's finally going to finish me off. Every time I'm out in the bush, there's always these pretty birds. They fly away every time I try and film them. You see this thing? Check this out. Sorry about that movement. Right there. Oh, you see what I mean? Found this whiptail, but he's just chilling out in the bushes, and those leaves are thick, so no way I'm gonna be able to get him. Have no fear, for there's infinite herping here. That cow's staring me down. You better move out of here. Okay, yeah, but that we get moving, you make a mistake, you become steak. See, that cow knew he better not make beef with me. Yeah, he's, he's that. He's, he's freaking chicken. He ran away. So I thought. He's, he's, he's staring at me through the bushes right there. You guys see that? Look at this. He's totally looking at me through the bushes. I see your big white head. Hi, Mr. Cow. Hey, you're staring at me. You're a bad cow. You better start behaving. You're going to get grounded. The cows ran away. We're looking for a little spot to make camp here. I'm having me some beef hot dogs. Say about that. They're going to get so muad. Walking to make camp, but uh, some crazy red thing on the bush over here caught my eye. That... Wait a second. Hey, it's Mr. Goofy Caterpillar again. Don't touch him. Remember, don't touch him. Is that the one that's poisonous? That's the one, remember? That's the one Todd said not to touch. Last time we were here, he said, don't touch them. They suck. I think we found Hell's version of a caterpillar. Um, I was told not to touch these things, and I've got like an inch from my eyeball, or half an inch from my eyeball. So you guys don't try this. You guys ever see the Diablo version of caterpillar? Don't pick him up and put him next to your eyeball. It's real stupid. I'm gonna put him down now. Man, that is one crazy, freaky looking caterpillar, man. It's like Diablo. He's just looking straight up at me. He's looking for a soul to take. We're gonna let the hell of pillar go back into the wild before he gets angry and takes out one of my kids. That thing is awesome looking. I left that poor evil caterpillar on the rock that's kind of warm. I just realized that. Are you uh, kidding me? Poor evil caterpillar? Yeah, the poor evil caterpillar. That poor. Okay, he's good. There's a whole ton of these little minnow guppy mosquito fish things down here. Check those out. In a survival situation, you could scoop these guys up by the handful. Can we bear keep them in? Yep, scoop them by the handful. Here's my technique for catching fish. <laughs> She's clear. I can see his muscles and his back and his stomach and pretty yeah, much everything. Yeah, I can everything. see a skeleton. Yeah, that's freaky. Wait a minute, we're so damn skinny you can see our skeletons. We're gonna show you guys a side of cooking you've never seen before. You put the GoPro in the pot with the fish. I'm so hungry, they're almost done. Yeah, I wouldn't do that, that is so cold. I just had to mess with you guys though because I thought it was hilarious. There is a time I might cook some fish, you know, catch something and cook it, but it'll probably be something in the ocean. If I cook something that's not from the ocean, it's a lake or river we ever do that, it's probably, it'll, it'll be something that's invasive more than likely.
We're putting together this massive collage of animals right now so you can see the river ecosystem like at its finest in one little teeny box. Who wants boxed river, guys? Anybody? Ow. How about deep fried box river? Uh-huh. No? Uh. Get ready for the wildlife. <laughs> that is the worst singing ever. <laughs> Get ready for the wildlife. Oh, you are seeing stuff. You're catching them. Haha, <laughs> I got one. He's teeny, but I got him. Look at that catfish, little miniature cat. Into the bag we go. All right, let's see if we can get the big one. And by big one, I mean two and a half inches. He's at least seven pounds. So that means... He's a dimensional rift catfish. He hides his weight in another dimension. Maybe he's an Ant-Man catfish. I know, because I have, I have an associates in physics. I found something. I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna poke it. I don't know, I think it's a turtle. I think it's a turtle, I think it's a turtle. <gasps> ah! Yeah! You a pond, uh, Look at that, he's so He's a pond cute. spider. He oh. smells horrific. Fire he's spider. a toilet slider. Oh my god, I did oh, oh. Crawdad's trying to annihilate me. What the heck? Stop that. It's Crawdad bullying you again. Hey, what's up, Crawdad? You want some of this? You want, you want some of this? He keeps taking shots at me. That Crawdad's just every time I put my finger down to get the catfish, he's trying to take a piece of me. He's a catfish bodyguard. Yeah. Catfish hired. <laughs> oh, I got him. I got the big one. I think. Oh, oh. Okay, In you go. Got him. We found a gigantic hilgermite under this rock. Pick, pick up the rock, buddy. Two hands. Man. Hey guys, I'm gonna pet this hilgermite. Don't try this at home. Oh, oh, oh. He's gonna pet you. Oh. Whoa. He's fighting against the crowd at. Jeez. That is crazy. He's swimming all goofy. He's like a lobster. A big, creepy lobster. Lobster <laughs> bite. 20-legged lobster. I got this yogurt mite in my mask. We're gonna put him in this thing so you guys can see him. Alright. Here's the amount of wildlife you can find in this ecosystem. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure this is not all of it. There's a lot more than this. But look at all these critters. They're so cute. Well, I mean, not all of them are so cute. Like, that guy looks like he can rip your face off, you know? I don't, I don't call him cute. No, no, not cute. The catfish is cute, though. The turtle has algae growing on him. Cleaner shrimps to clean you off, buddy. This is really cool. That ain't even everything. We got a few more critters. Oh, knocked off my thing. In here, this bucket right here. Yeah, look at the camera and smile. Well, look at the fish. That's not a smile. Look at the camera. That's the face of a man who eats fish and tadpoles and turtles. I'm just gonna do a side face. We put them all in the Ziploc so we can let them go all at the same time.
I got this Hilgrimite thing. Uh oh. The Hilgrimite thing's got me. I put my fingers on this Hilgrimite thing, guys, but I don't think it's a good idea because he's got some big teeth and, and he won't let go. Come on, dude. Let go. Let go. Let go of me. So. <laughs> I'm just happy he didn't chomp me because that thing's freaky. Yep, your narrator Matthew here. Um, there's a bee. <laughs> <laughs> good narrating skills, yep. Matthew, your narrator's back again. It's another bee. I'm great at this. And so Matthew say, don't forget to hit the notifications thing so you're, so you're up to date with all our newest videos. And then Neo, you say whatever the heck you want, okay? Okay, whatever. Just make sure you're nice and loud. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification thing so you're up to all our new videos. What? Up to date with all our new videos. Sorry. Oh, not, not great English. And I forgot. Ha, ha, ha.